This video is made in a collaboration with European Aviation Safety Agency. Attention drone and FPV enthusiasts! New important changes are coming in into the open category starting January 1st, 2024. So, prepare yourself for an enchanced flying experience! On January 1st, 2024, the full open category drone rules will come into an effect, opening the new possibilities for all types of drone pilots. Like you! Now, here's what you need to know. New drones entering the market will have to bear a class mark ranging from C0 to C4 to be able to operate within the region. This obviously doesn't include the self-built FPV drones. However, the drones that you already have that have been produced before the January 1st, 2024 don't really have to have this mark on them. As a quick cheat sheet, if the drone is weighed less than 250 grams, it operates under category A1. And for drones weighing less than 25 kilograms, they are operating under the class A3. And for those drones, you still need the A1, A3 license, which in most of the European countries you can actually get online. But wait, there's more about those marks, because some of the drones currently operating already have them, and they may be operating under the full open class. Drones with the class mark C0 or C1 may be operating under the category A1. Drones with the C2 mark and the low speed activated may be operating up to 5 meters horizontal distance from uninvolved people under the category A2. If the low speed mode is activated, you may fly your drone up to 30 meters horizontal distance. And finally, drones with the class marks of C1 to C4 may be flown in the category A3. And if it sounds confusing, here is a graphic representation of what I'm saying. Feel free to stop this video now. But that's not all of the novelties, because starting January 1st, 2024, the European standard scenarios will also become applicable across all of the EASA countries. By simply declaring compliance with the existing standard scenarios as of mid-2023, STS-01 or STS-02 to the National Aviation Authority of the country in which you are registered as an operator, you can conduct specific operations using drones with a class mark of C5 to C6. And that means that the operations based on the national standard scenarios will no longer be applicable. But if you don't have a drone with a mark of C5 or C6, you can still use the predefined risk assessment. These risk assessments mirror the requirements of the standard scenarios right now, except the class marks. These PDRAs require the operational authorization issued by the competent national authority, but they are generally designed to streamline the process. And there's some good news for the drone manufacturers too. The European Commission has defined the conditions for the non-compliant drones to get upgraded. Those manufacturers can submit themselves into the conversion process. All they have to do is to demonstrate their conformity with the current regulations. This means that your existing drones can be compliant with the current regulations if you choose to do so. And the same goes to FPV drones. For more detailed information about the introduction of the C-Class markings, please be sure to read the article that accompanies this description. So whether you are a drone enthusiast, FPV pilot or a manufacturer, you need to prepare yourselves for new soaring heights. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy flying your drones.